Hey, what's up, boys and girls? I'm today I'm bringing you a tutorial of how to get two high rounds on Origin. Yay. Um, so pretty much I'm gonna be skipping forward a lot in here just to make it short. Um, and if you guys want to see more zombies videos, like this and comment. Um, also if you haven't yet, press that subscribe button. It'll really mean a lot to me. Uh, also another thing before we get started. Sorry, I have not been uploading lately, and um, I might stop the skate three. Um, montages unless you guys don't want me to I mean I would still be happy to make this but I really want to start getting to uh, zombies I really enjoy zombies and also uh, I will be getting Call of Duty Ghost when it comes out and that's uh, pretty cool because the uh, shop down here is having a wrestling tournament so I might go you guys might be able to see me for the first time um, it'll be super fun so I'm probably gonna take my camera record the whole time uh, like if you want to see that um, but anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward here um first thing you want to do is you want to get over to the box wherever the box is it doesn't matter which side it's on one side is better than the other and I'll explain that to you in a little bit but the boxes happens to be on this side and I want it to be on the other side but that's not a problem because I don't really need the box that much and you do not need the staff parts I just got them whenever they came around um that's okay if you do that so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the generator and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward here alrighty now the generators on and I'm gonna go hit me up some box um yeah like I said you don't need the staff pieces and uh yeah so now what I like to do is I like to sit around I like to rank up wow I like to rack up headshots until I have 115 before I enter no man's land because of these damn Bioshock comments. I don't know what you call them. How about you leave a comment down below and tell me what they're actually called. Um, but the pretty much the big guys in those suits that looks like they're wearing Bioshock suits. Um, and sorry about the sound. Uh, I have it set to automatically turn down, but I have the game sound kind of high. So, comment if you want that to be lower next video. Um, we're glad to do that for you guys. And uh. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward here now. They mistake me. All right, so now I'm making my way over to the place where I like to camp and run circles, which would be this door over here. This is the way that I like the box to spawn originally, because it's right there and you can hit as much as times as you want. Um, box is really really nice. To uh, I don't know why I opened that. Just brought another zombie. Yeah, but anyway, the box is really really nice because you can just keep opening it and get better guns. But in the end, it doesn't really matter what guns you have because you're gonna be down to the same two guns if you want high rounds. So, and the two guns are actually pretty good, and I'll get to that later on in the video. But from now, you just want to keep running circles. Uh, turn on this generator, obviously. If the box is here, this is where I like the box to spawn. But I run circles here until I have 115 headshots, or if it gets a little bit too crowded, I'll open up the other two doors. And uh, just run around circles down the entire thing until I have 115 headshots, and then I will go and open the, uh, bo the challenge box for my upgraded weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward here now. All right, I really recommend getting the AK-74U. You can just buy ammo right off the wall. It's a really, really good gun. I mean, I know a lot of you guys like the MP40, but this is the place where I'm running circles, so I would prefer the AK-74U. Um, so yeah, in a little bit here, I'll be running around the entire map because it gets a little bit too crowded. I actually end up going down, and I forget to grab a uh, quick revive again, but that doesn't really matter because how I got down at the end of the game is because my controller died which really sucks for me but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward again alright what I'm gonna be showing you guys right now is a big no no um yeah don't try to run circles in here you'll, you'll go down which really sucks but hey it's whatever um yeah this is pretty much the part where I was talking about where I went down um it's the only time I went down besides when I actually went down the whole time and you'll actually see me right now um I almost go down again, actually. It really sucks. But I didn't go down. Good for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry about the audio if it's getting a little rough. But these are the two doors I was talking about. I open them and I run circles. And you'll see me right here just in a few seconds, actually. I'll get enough headshots to get my upgraded weapon. And then I carefully get over there. Um, I don't go that way. I always go around this way just to make sure because you know they jump down from the tops and whatnot and uh yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward to 
All right, right here I am getting my beautiful upgraded weapon. What is it? Oh, the STG. What a beaut. I almost didn't grab it there for a second. But yeah, so now pretty much what I do is I go back through, I run a few more laps until I know I have enough money. And then I go ahead and get out of this place because it does get really insane. All right, and then right here I go into no man's land and I face that dreaded armored juggernaut of a zombie um I know him as the Bioshock zombie you guys may know him as something else comment down whatever you guys know him as and let me know because I really want to hear the different names you guys got for him um I imagine some of them are pretty funny but anyways um you'll see coming up this thing kills him really 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 fast uh, yeah, so I put a few rounds into him right here. Let him know who he's messing with. Oh man, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Ah, oh, but you know, he doesn't go down right there. Um, he actually ends up going down right here. And I thought he was, he was gonna kill the zombie because he explodes. But the zombie got out of there. Good job for the zombie. Um, yeah. So pretty much what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run around, and uh, I'm actually gonna go and get juggernaut uh, be careful when doing this because it's really easy to go down as you guys know alright you guys now I'm going over to get my juggernaut make sure the zombie is not around you when you get this perk because even if you buy it it'll take your money and if you hit you twice before you get a drink um, you will lose it you will die and you will be waste all your money um, so yeah that's me getting my juggernaut getting stronger and uh now I'm going to save up a few more points and the round and we'll see where this goes from here. Oh yeah, real quick, um, try, the purple disc can be anywhere, just try to find the lightning disc, um, the lightning disc was right over there on that wheelbarrow for me but I already got it and I didn't feel like rewinding it, um, that probably makes me a jerk. Alright, once you have acquired the white disc, what you want to do is actually you don't even need the white disc. What you want to do is get the gramophone, which can be down, which will be down here. Um, I am playing in uh, I am recording this from theater mode, and I thought there was another zombie up there, but apparently there was not. Well, actually there was. He was just really slow, so I just ran up there. Luckily, he did not try me on the steps. Um, yeah, be really con cautious when you're down here. Right there, he was. Um, but yeah. Be really cautious when you're down there, and uh, once you get the gramophone, you want to save up enough money, and and once you have the gramophone and the uh, lightning disc, you want to save up enough money to come over here and open up this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it again. Why does this box All right, now I have where I call the robot house because this is the direction the robots come from. Uh, once again, like I said, oh, I almost went down there. Like I said before, um. Comment whatever you call it, because I'd like to know everybody else's opinions on it. Alright, now you want to come down here, and you want to place the gramophone right on the table down here. Once you have the purple disc. Um, if you guys start coming down here, just run circles down here. Um, hopefully you don't have too many alive. I usually like to keep two alive, so they're not really, really fast runners. And then once the portal's built, go ahead and jump through. Now I came through here and then realized that 3,000 bucks that and the uh, Wonder Fizz machine was actually right there for me to use. So I jumped back through and I get two more perks. All right, this is just me jumping back through because you know I had to put this in here. Me using the Wonder Fizz. Uh, luckily, it was right here for me, so I used it twice. And I believe I got. Oh, what did I get? I forget what I got. Oh yeah, I gotta turn on the power. Um, but yeah, so as I'm turning this on, I think, I know I got Headshot Daiquiri, I think it's called. Um, I forget what the other one is, so we're gonna find out, because I know I got the one that I can't remember first. And it is... Double Tap! Oh yes, the mighty Double Tap. Um, and now Headshot Daiquiri, of course. It's actually really, really helpful, I really like this perk. Oh man, my voice just went stupid there. Sorry about that. Um, 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back down through here and jump back to the portal. And this is where the tutorial takes place. Um, those were just the steps before the tutorial, kind of like an easter egg. Um, this is the easter egg tutorial. Not really. Um, we will not be doing the easter egg in this. But the purple rock. Don't grab it. If you don't, if you grab it, those rocks will start coming down and slamming shit. And you'll get trapped a lot. Um, if you do not grab it, you are free to run circles in here for as long as you want. It's pretty insane, actually. It's really, really easy. As long as your controller doesn't die like mine did, I would check your controller before you do this shit. Or have extra batteries on you, because for some reason, my controller died. It did not bring up the screen where it said, pause. It did not pause it. It just kept it going. It really pissed me off. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it to the round that I died. And I'll show you which round I died on. And we'll go from there. So, thank you guys for watching this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um... Uh, comment down below if you want to see some more zombies videos. It's not just gonna be tutorials. Um, I will also play with some subscribers. Uh, hopefully, be doing live streams as soon as I figure out how to do it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm gonna fast forward it to where I die. All right, you guys. Right here is the saddest part. Um, so pretty much, I need to reload my AK-74U uh, and my STG. But uh, as I come over here, I think I missed the reload. No, I get it. And then right here, my controller does. So yeah, that was pretty much the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the video is going to pause right here. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more.